A COVID-19 diagnosis, isolation and treatment facility in Senator Lito Lapid's hometown of Lubao, Pampanga had just been repurposed for daycare medical services for indigents. PTV correspondent Mark Vitalco supplies the details in this report. Delilah lined up early for the free medical service of the Department of Health in Lubao, Pampanga to have her eyesight checked. Sa mata ko, malabo, may katarata raw. Tapos yung dito sa likod, may sipon daw ako sa likod. Binigyan akong antibiotic kasi walang masyadong pera ang pampacheck up dahil po sa pandemic. Hundreds of residents flocked to the launching of DOHS Primary Care Day, which was built to bring basic healthcare services closer to the public. This is the way to go. Kung hindi ho natin uumpisahan, i-prevent ang mga sakit sa ating lipunan ngayon, dadating po tayo dun sa punto na ang atin pong mga may sakit will just opt to die at home, will just opt to just stay at home without receiving any care. Originally built for COVID-19 patients, the primary care facility right inside the Lubao Temporary Treatment and Monitoring Facility in Pampanga opened for business and service to the delight of the locals. Inutusan na po natin ang local governments that 40 TMFs na hindi na ginagamit since mababa na yung kaso, stable na tayo, ire-repurpose na po nila ulit dun sa original na kanilang Purpose. Maari no, na gawin natin itong maliit na hospital, primary care hospital, kung saan yung mga serbisyo nakakailanganin like dialysis, uh, matataas na klase ng diagnostics, maari na nilang gawin dito para ang hospital hindi rin napupuno. Kung hindi kaya ng mga lo, uh, government hospital, kung puno, district hospital, tumutulong din ang mga private, tumutulong din ang mga private hospital. Kasi paano mo siya pagbabayarin? Lahat ng mga caretaker namin ngayon, poorest of the poor, na hindi niya alam na siya pala may sakit siya. According to the DOH, there are about 500 primary care facilities in the country. Meanwhile, during the launch, a primary care van donated by the Global Fund was turned over to the Center for Health Development Region 3. It was used to provide residents various primary care services such as consultations, immunization for infants, provision of free medicines, screening and diagnosis of common communicable and non-communicable diseases, as well as health education and counseling on risk factors and diseases. Mark Fetalco for The Nation.